Welcome students. Now I am going to continue with the applied areas of psychology. Now I am going to explain about educational psychology. What is educational psychology? The psychology which is applied to educational field or academics is called educational psychology. It mainly deals with student teacher relationships, academic backwardness, slow learners, learning disability and adjustmental problems of the children and certain parental aspects which is involved in the academic problems of the children. Here the psychologist studies the conduct disorders or many other psychological problems such as lying, stealing in schools or absenteeism to the school and many uh, depressive anxieties or depression among students all these are studied in the educational setup so that is is so that is dealt in educational psychology the next branch of applied areas of research in psychology that is sports psychology it is one of the recently emerged field of psychology in the western countries it has got lot of importance in india also nowadays it is one of the developing field of psychology here sports psychology mainly deals with the issues related to the psychological problems and performance of athletes or sports person or sports person here the performance related anxieties aggression stress or ego issues or any rebelliousness or underachievement depression among athletes or risk involved in performance or addiction among athletes and many issues are tackled by sports psychologists sports psychologists similar to the coaches or trainers they work nearly with the sports person or athletes with an intimate friendship and also they try to tackle their problems and thereby they try to solve the problems of athletes this is what sports psychology is so nowadays the performance of the athletes are enhanced mainly because of not only the coaches and also because of the contribution of psychologists in the field of sports next we are going to know about forensic psychology it is also called as criminal psychology forensic psychologist mainly studies about the eyewitness testimony the police uh, the eyewitness testimony the polygraphic studies and many issues related to criminals are studied by the forensic psychologists they study many issues that are involved in committing certain crimes by the people why do they commit crime or what was the situation that made them to commit crime or to become criminals and how to rehabilitate them and how to develop certain skills in order to reduce criminal tendencies among criminals all these are dealt by criminal psychologists or forensic psychologists next we are going to study about another important area applied area of psychology that is industrial and organizational psychology industrial psychology and organizational psychology they are mainly focusing on the employee and employer issues in work setup or any firm or organization it mainly deals with the absenteeism recruitment turnover employee employer clashes or issues and productivity and enhancing leadership skills in employees enhancing their soft skills and developing more productivity and developing good work atmosphere in the industry all these are dealt by industrial psychologist or organizational psychologist in industrial psychology the industrial psychologist use the concept of human engineering so they try to develop higher level of productivity among employees 
thereby make them fruitful to their organization and they select any employees based on their right to and they select their employees to the job based on right person to a right job and right job to a right person so this is the major aspect related to industrial and organizational psychology nowadays industrial and organizational psychology closely deals with the area of commerce or business and they closely work together with the hr executives hr managers and all industrial psychologist designations are created worldwide and they deal with psychological issues related to the organization as i said you in the related topics now dear students now i am going to explain you about the research in psychology what is research the meaning of research as i said you earlier in the earlier video research is nothing but it is in depth study of any particular issue here we are studying about the influence of certain variables or certain issues on the behavior of human beings mainly the research in psychology carried out to study about the behaviors and the impact of certain behaviors that is called cause and effect there are different research methods in psychology if you want to study any particular behavior through research if you have to study any behavior through research in psychology you have to use certain methods through which you can study the behaviors of uh, individuals let me tell you some of the research methods in psychology one of the method that we can see in psychology that is called introspection method another one is observation method another one is experimental method and these three methods are there in your syllabus so there are different research methods in psychology mainly there are three methods one is introspection another one is interview method and another one is experimental method observation method quasi experimental method case history method there are many more but still as far as your syllabus is concerned let us see only major three important research methods so the first one is important research methods let me continue in the next coming video about the major research methods thank you